just getting started. We're just getting started. Why did I get Art of War so much? Give me Art of War on anybody else but Ironclad. Alright, because if I get Art of War one more time, we're going to go into the file. We're deleting this from the file. And we're not going to ever see it ever again. Deal? Also, if I don't get a one heart win this stream, we're deleting the channel. Deleting the channel. It's gone. No, I'm trying to just have fun with it. I mean, I, if I wanted to try hard, I would I would put you guys to bed. No, no we're trying to have fun. But yeah, doing the channel. What, what were we saying? Um, best starter relic? Hey, it's one of the better ones, yeah, for sure. Definitely. What's up, Lost Champion? YouTube fearing? An early disarm. Is it slime boss again? Watch. I, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, three months already, question mark, honestly, only feels like two. P. Yo, Wolf, I thank you for the Twitch round for three months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. Silence started regular makes sense in the context of the uh, silent. So there's that. So there's that. I clickbaited it for you, Trico. You wanted me to clickbait? Okay, if, when they come in here, be like, man, you're a cringy clickbaiter. Listen, blame my mods. If we clickbait together. I don't even clickbait. Stream blow deck? Uh, do you want my channel to go get deleted? Gressalor? Are you trying to see me off Twitch? This is how you weed him out, boys. Say delete in your channel and then the, the chat goes Serum Blow deck. Uh, take Rupture unironically. Weeding them out. Let the air we here. Yeah, so Silent's Relic started with makes sense in the context of Silent. What with her bigger starting deck, but also her cheaper card. In the form of Neutralize. Which neutralizes so neutralizes the best starting card. Yeah. I mean I'm a big fan of defect as well. Effect strike tech. Oh shit. Right. Typo. Chrissy, you must have typed the title for me, because uh, I won't make typos. Only one person does that around here. Hmm. I'm not taking Perfected Strike. I can't do it to myself. Rage, on the other hand. Hmm. I'm not sure I want the Rage either. Maybe Flex would be something I could actually use just now. We'll call this a... We'll call this a... A... What's it called? So we have Damage Commons, right? That tend to help us. Like Perfected Strike is a Damage Common that we can use right now to get through this Elite. Flex is a damage common, but it's a skill that doesn't do damage directly, but indirectly gives me damage on that turn. It's a little bit worse because you have to have other stuff alongside with it. And if we're fighting Gremlin Knob, it's a little awkward. So I think I might just take Perfect Strike just to get the damage. Now the fact that it's upgraded it makes me really sad, because it's like I don't I don't really want it to last in my deck for very long. I think we'll be okay with damage.
Mm. I think I blocked as much as I could have. No problem, I like sleep type. I like that you can type while you sleep. Okay, so uppercut I really like for the weekend and the vulnerable, very strong, very solid. Reaper, Reaper's very powerful. Like even this, despite the fact that we don't have strength scaling, this is just a powerful card that I wanted. It's, it's hard to find this. It's hard to find this. And also, it exhausts itself, right? Whereas uppercut, we like the weekend, but for the hexagons we have disarm already, and we've got bash upgraded. So I see upgrade being a little bit more, a little awkward. Whereas this is just a nice healing, sustained AOE that has significantly high ceiling. Damn, the weekend is very powerful though. Oh wow, this is gonna be rough, huh? I like this. Hmm. Is it worth it? Nice. Give me that healing. Hell yeah. I could have killed one of them. I hope that me not killing one of them. Ah, oh, this works out beautifully. Beautifully. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Chrissy does type like she's uh, sleeping. You're right. Got her. Got him. I like that. I want to do sparkle. That was my, my game plan going into this was like, okay, I'm going to do sparkle, get out of the way. Or maybe even the second elite right there. So I want to maximize elites. We did the Laga, so it's triple sentry, I think it's gonna be fine. Gremlin Knob, I think we have decent damage for Gremlin Knob as well. I'm okay with either. Type pretty disarm. Hey, my right hand is not like perfect right now, but it's very nice for the future. This was a 35. I'm gonna do this. I wanna draw back into Perfected Strike and also get rid of the, the curse or whatever. So if we can get more out of this, I just wanna get out of the deck though. Plus I wanna butter him up. So we're gonna go for Art of War again. And hopefully we get Bash Perfected Strike. You're gonna turn it into Butter for four. Not worth. So if I want you to read something before making a decision, I need to be fast. Oh, so we're like training you to become a fast typer. So, so on your resume for what's it called when you are. Dictation in a courtroom. You can say you got trained by Jeremiah's Twitch chat. Okay. Havoc Iron Wave. Iron Wave is weird with Art of War. I like Iron Wave, but I don't like it with Art of War. Alita, what is that? The battle thing with the, like, they make the really big eyes and, like, there's, like, anime, live-action anime eyes, whatever. I look elderly. <laughs> Iron Wave. Art of War. Awkward. Which is why we take it. Okay, so we can just throw the sparkle, I think, here, right? How are we feeling about a Sparkle Triple Sentry? Yeah. 
I sh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you almost got it. You almost got it there. Damn. This is unfortunate. This damage I'm taking right now doesn't bode well for the elite I want to take. We don't have the damage, right? Got 12 here, plus 10, plus 9, 21, 31. Maybe I do skill putt. Okay. So double tap bash. Is 10, then 15, 15, 25, plus 12, 37, plus 9, lethal. Strength pot. I think strength pot is nice. We can use it for the, the sparkle, I feel like. So we're not going to need it for the boss, are we? We might need it for the boss. Do we need it now? If we do it now, we get a big reaper, a big fat reaper. It's a pretty decent reaper, actually. Tanta tiempo! Estoy bien. ¿Y, y tú? ¿Cómo estás? Es, uh, hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? Un montón de tiempo. Jesus Christ. It's been a long time. How you doing? Tanga. My Spanish never ceases to amaze. How, like, my Spanish is so bad, it never ceases to amaze me. I want to say it's been a long time. I said... Un montón de, de tiempo. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But it's weird. <clears throat> Reaper now is going to be... Estuviste practicando tu... No, no, no. No practicando aquí. Por supuesto. Or, obviamente, you know. <laughs> muy gringo. There's a Russian modder? What do you mean? What's going on here? So how much, how much sorry, I'm getting distracted. We're at, we need um 13 life. This heals for 18. I still think it's okay. I think we're saving Shape Pot actually for the boss. I think we're saving Shrink for the boss, just because... Well, this arm helps us, but we don't have that much damage. I'm saving Shrink for the boss. Since when this become such a multicultural uh, stream? I mean, I don't mind it, guys. Let's be honest. I I, I make uh, bad use of French and Spanish. It seems fitting that we have all kinds of languages here. Because I most certainly don't sound like I'm speaking English most of the time. I'm one damage off? We don't care about that. One damage off, right? Damn, feels bad. Bonsoir, Bernard Genial. Ah, uh, so we could have had a much better Reaper before. I think now we just embrace this Reaper for what it is. This is not even a Reaper. This is, this Reaper is not even a thing. It's just not. It's just a non-thing. Because if I if I try to get Reaper to do something, then I'm keeping this guy alive. I mean, it's guaranteed lethal next next turn, anyways.
Let's go give a long war. How you doing, buddy? So this Reaper is something, right? Yeah. Two heal is something. It went pretty well, actually, guys. Despite my... My fears. Okay, we can get the max HP going, get the max HP train going, or we can do Pummel, because we have Strength Pot. I think moving forward, Pummel's going to be awkward in the deck. But for right now, for the bosses, it feels pretty nice. The Strength Pot. But max HP is quite nice as well. That's the Weaken. We wanted Weaken. We didn't take Uppercut, but this is the Weaken now. Maybe we take that instead. Have I played Dragon Age Origins? No, I haven't. Comment allez-vous à sa avion? Et toi? Bonjour. Bonsoir. Bonjour. Yeah, I think we want the weekend. I know you guys would want to skip, but um, that's a lot to cost cards. Okay. Transform or upgrade? Well, with the strength pot, the shortbow is gonna be a nice upgrade. Fabelou mon mon copa. No, please, not the French clip. Please, I don't, I don't know. That's, I gotta delete that. I gotta delete that clip. I gotta delete that clip. I think transform strike as well, but I'm, I'm kind of upgrading. I'm thinking about upgrading the shortbow ring, but for actually, that's not gonna be that great. Getting the weekend to be last longer is not bad either. For pure damage purposes, the shrink pot <clears throat> that I'm using, I don't know why it sounds like I whistle sometimes. I say shrink, shrink pot, shrink pot makes this better. Am I worried that much about the Ghost? Ah. Hmm. 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 This should be good. This A was gonna be nice for Act Two. I think the card draws gonna be nice. Mitigate the burns. Strength pot. Let's find disarm. If we don't find disarm in the next five cards, I'm gonna say it's rigged. I'm not worried about the. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm loading it all, but maybe that the poison was excessive, right? Because we could have just as easily just let the shrink pot be enough damage. Get this out of my deck. I'll wait. Yeah, the poison was excessive. So if I'm like short a poison pot for the elite next uh, act, I guess it's my fault. It took a lot of damage. Okay, so Dragon Brace gives me Mummified Hand, and it's quite nice power. M mitigates the Chosen, and adds value to all the future exhaust. Makes Corruption kind of a very interesting card, especially with Mummified Hand. Feed is feed. Feed with Singing Bowl means we might be able to get a lot of HP. Deck's very offensive. Awkward. I'm sure from Uzbekistan. Yeah. Uzbekistan. I just think, hey, one of the two. Some kind of stand. Well, Feet is not very meme -y. It's very powerful. You're not counting? Hey, what's up, Craig? Well, if Craig's not counting, I guess we can't take the feed, guys. Sorry, he's not counting. Dragon Burst right now has nothing really going for it. It's like makes it disarm, give me card draw, and Reaper. Obviously, counteracts chosen as well. And those are the two things going for it. If 
I don't energy relic, it's a little bit awkward. The mummified hand's a thing. That's also going for it. Mummified hand. But there's a ceiling with it in terms of corruption or... There's other things as well. Like Havoc, Warcry, things of that nature. Nice feed. Damn it, guys. Do your homework, man. Do your thing. I mean, I'm doing really dumb, but... Pyramid is a consideration. Here, I think we have... Art of Wars is not a thing in this deck. Moon Pyramid means I can get feed more reliably, Reaper when I need it, etc. Disarm. Hold on to the... Yeah. Mommy Hand? Mommy Hand! Yes, Mommy Hand. Mommy Hand. Yes, yes, yes. My favorite. Mr. Lemon hates the Pyramid. That's why we take it every single time. I want Perfection to kind of die, but like in a very amicable way. Like his time has come, get it out of the deck, the deck has moved on to better, bigger and better things. It's not you, it's me kind of thing, we're kind of going somewhere else. But Perfected might stick around for a while. Let's find out. We're gonna struggle here, actually. In these fights. It does make it worse. Yes. Watching it is a little bit worse for Runic. We'll try to, we'll try to talk. Okay, she's doing 11. Got it. See? Predicted. He could be attacking, he could be leaving. I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, got him. Can I do... Reaper for full? Not bad. So True Grit. Yeah, so maybe now is the time we start getting rid of... So True Grit makes Perfect Strike worse because he's going to get rid of Strikes. But I think we like the True Grit for the block. The fact that it's upgraded is very nice as well. Of course, we can also go for more perfected strike. Nah, nah, nah. Too good. This guy. I mean, what can I say about this guy? There's not much I can't say. Hope I can just kill him in time. First of all, then we should get feed next turn. It's also a world in which I just do strike feed now. And next time we potentially get lethal. Because we already have 18 damage. This is 16. So we just need to get... 6 more damage. Doing feed now, we get 6 more damage. Okay, I'm doing it. Max HP. I gotta, I gotta start skipping more. Ooh! True Grit is a really good gift. Yeah. But it's True Grit. Grit. Do we do this? This is gonna hurt, man. Okay. Okay. Juggernaut. Preserve insects. Penny. Prismatic shard. Oh. I can't do it. Chrissy, tell me no. Okay. There's two ways we can go with this. Many ways. Infinite possibilities. But there's two main lines. Two main storylines here. 
It's the story of the meme. The meme dream. Prism. Or the attempt to actually do something. Take the preserve insects. Maybe remove something. And carry on. Hmm. I beg you guys, they're begging me for the shard. They're begging me to lose. Might as well say, Jeremy, I beg you to lose the run. What's next? I beg you to click abandon? Because this is what is this is what is that's what I'm doing right now. But they taking this, I'm saying I might as well abandon and run. Is that what you want? You beg me to click this? I th okay, if it was if it wasn't Preserve Insect, because I would take the Prismatic Shard. But the Preserve Insect means I could actually do these two leads and do something with this run. I need a YouTube video. True. I have one. On True. True. It, it's not going to be a YouTube video. There's going to be a lot. It's like right now. Probably Act 2, maybe the beginning of Act 3. It's not going to go on YouTube. I'm not being pessimistic. No, I'm not being pessimistic. No. I'm not... Ah, fuck me, guys. For sure, it's online. You're right, you're right. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it seriously, guys. Because we have a prismatic... So, to, to appease you, alright? I have a prismatic seed that we're gonna do. So don't worry. Oh, it's not... I'm not battling for prismatic over that. I'm battling Twitch chat. But I won the battle. You're Reaper now. I'd rather get the, the massive heal. I'd rather get the massive heal than go for a double clothesline. I mean, we could always get wait for Pendant, but nah, just get the heal out of the way. Guys, this is this is better. Don't worry, this is better in the long run. Trust me. This is this is the way. This is the one true way. Oh, we can get the. Old f oh, I want feet so bad. Wait a minute. This is gonna be twenty-four damage. Twenty-four. So eight plus twenty-four. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. We have feed. Max HP. We're getting max HP. Things are happening. Good things are happening. Okay. I want to upgrade the feed. Now, I was going to do these two leads, but I wasn't sure I was going to go ahead and do like... These three elites. Prismatic shard. I mean, preserve insect might change my mind here. How are we doing against the book of stabbing? Pretty okay. Some helps. Got some good front loaded. We'll take a beating. We've got to weaken. Okay. It's going to hurt, but we, we'll be okay. Slavers. I think with the Necronomicon, we got some good stuff as well. Perfected strike, bash, etc. Mm. Maybe the gremlin is a little awkward. Let's go for this. He's so cute and so tiny. So I really want to double weaken. I really want to double weaken the ground leader, but I just want to kill the minions. Also, there's a lot of damage too, you know? This is just a buttload of damage. So what we could do is just do damage like that, and then weaken him. It's a tough choice, actually. This helps mitigate, and does decent damage, but we just also kills that many right there. 
Makes this guy stronger. We can kill that guy next turn. Maybe the best thing is to do perfected. Then cleave strike. But if he's attacking the weakness, obviously he's pretty good. Because <clears throat> we were trying to maximize damage at the end of the day, right? Let's remember to also go for just full killing of the minions. From Russia, probably. Kill the minions so that... I think doing double bash makes more sense, though. Yeah, Pen and Reaper. Did I use feed? So I'm gonna greed for the feed. You guys with me on this? Say yes, say I. Yes, yes, yes. Greed for feed. Greed for feed. Alright, now here we can't greed for feed anymore. Because he could probably be attacking me. We tried. This is as far as the greed goes. Pretty sure he's attacking me. Hey, I'm from France. And I see you on YouTube. Just with, uh, with amazing run. Follow you now. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Rod Meyer. Bienvenue. Ah, uh, stream. I could have got stacked up pen up. That was my bad. Ah, uh, stream. That didn't make sense. Maxi's piece quite nice though. Should I just for the scaling? Yes. We guys have Reaper as well. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Now, it's a little awkward with the Runic Dome, but we can reasonably know who's attacking or not attacking. Yeah, the thing is, I think he was attacking. It wouldn't be worth it. Okay, I want the scaling to be upgraded. I also want to upgrade feed. I mean, the fact that Reaper's getting doubled by upgrading it. So, here's the thing. We're about to fight Slavers, right? So that goes from 12... To all of them, so 12 twice to 15 twice. So it becomes from 24 to 30 damage AoE with Reaper against Flavors. Oh, I mean 5 individually, right? So it's going to be like, in total, 30 heal, potentially. Also, getting the feed out of the way also helps me get easier feeds, but also more max HP. So I kind of want to get this out of the way. I'm going to do that. I feel, feel, feel good about that. Bronze skills is great. Especially for this fight. We want to look for disarm right away. And we want to double weaken him as well. So he's either doing 10 right now. So I could block for... Let's do this. So he, he could be doing 10 right now. Easy. Easy 10. Easy clap. Disarm. Double perfected strike. And lethal's are just going to be something that's going to happen. I really want to greed for feed. What I mean is it's going to be something that's going to happen that I don't need to... Uh, I, I, it's better for me to defend there. But I have lethal right now. That's the thing. So I'll be just double bash cleave as lethal. I really want to greed for feed, but maybe this is too much greed, huh? Also, the problem with this is we're going to be getting Pendip wasted. Oh no, we can actually keep Pendip alive. Beautiful. Do I like power through? Not really. One more elite. So with Pennib, this could become kind of nasty. But no, nah, no, nah, we're not doing it. Let's get the gold. We do have Pennib here. I think I just want the weaken. I don't even care about anything else. I want to show him. What am I saying? Jesus. 
not attacking. That's good to know. But I still should have looked for this arm. I'm gonna greet here. I'm not thinking that much. Should I have attacked him once? Am I actually not gonna get the feet because I didn't attack him once? You gotta be shysting me, dude. Like maybe there's a way. So if I do sword boomerang. He's gonna get. All right. I should have done a strike last turn. That was my bad. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, we can do. Okay, but we, there's a way we can do this. Malleable is gonna be three, four, five, six. Right. And it all adds up. Yeah, but he gets malleable. So, what I'm saying is... Then that means I can do clothesline twice. But the second clothesline... Second clothesline... Because first he's doing 10, and then this next one does 2 damage. But then he gets up to 7. So he's at 9, perfectly. And Penup is ready. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Don't know if I like Havoc, though. I don't think so. My pitch is interesting. We need something more, actually. Because... This deck by itself... Okay, so our weakness killing is quite nice. Reaper getting double is quite nice. We're getting value out of close on a Bash. Feed in the max HP is also... Helping us out. This arm's pretty good. A lot of good things going for it. I don't think Rampage scaling is not going to help that much. I don't think Havoc is going to be reliable. Let's skip. One more upgrade here. Swap weakness. Yeah, detecting this block. The way it's skirting block is by just healing crap ton. La concha de su madre. That sounds dangerous. This gives us Pendib. This gives us Pendib. This is a much worse start than it was before. Much worse start. Part of me wants to damage the minions a little bit because I don't think the Reaper by itself is not going to be enough to kill them. Especially if he gives him armor. But this is enough to do damage. Okay, I just need... I have lethal. I really want to grieve for the feed. He's not attacking again. The worst that's going to happen is that this little mini is attacking. I could grieve for feed here. There's battle trends and there's feed coming up. I could greed this. Not to mention the heal. I could greed this. The thing is... That okay, I really want to do Reaper, but the Reaper right now with the block is not going to be beneficial anyways. So this, the feed is just it. Well, actually, I could do Reaper twice, because it doesn't kill the, the guy. So it, it heals me for 8, and then I can feed. I mean, that's actually beautiful. That's actually... In wow. 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 We did... How many elites? Jesus. All three of them. Okay. No, total greed there, because he's not attacking twice in a row, and it's only five... Yeah, that was total greed. It was not even greed. That was just... That's just the play. You shouldn't do anything else there. Emulate's AoE. It gets doubled. 
which I figured might be a way I can kill the minions in this fight. I don't really have a way to manage. We have True Grit for the burns. And I think Pendant Emily could be kind of useful for Act 4 Elite as well. Any tips for a novice? Um, just win. Lol. No, I would say yeah, keep good balance between offense, defense. Damn. Okay. For, for this deck, what you can see is like there's a form of scaling with spot weakness. There is some utility disarm. There's card draw. The balance here is a little off. It's a lot more offensive than it wants to be, only because it can get away with doing double Reaper to heal and stuff. Do this. It's fine. Should I recall now? I think I'm gonna recall now. So, little tips for me would be early on try to take um, try to maximize how many elites you can do in Act One without being too suicidal. Like push yourself to do maybe one or two elites in Act One. Get some relics going. Get some cards as well. Fight some normal fights. Don't go too crazy. Don't try to force record types, etc. But the, the main thing is just playing the game, losing, and knowing what to anticipate. So by losing, you know what's going to come ahead of time and kind of plan around that. Trying to have a way to address problems as well. Like make sure you have AoE. Make sure you have your deck's not too slow. Make sure you have some front-loaded damage or damage at all. Like, I don't know. You, you'll figure it out. Holy festive! Whoa! Thank you! Oh, festive the man! Thank you to all you people. Guys, if you get, get, get to the sub, say thank you very oh, much, festive. Thank you, festive. Now I don't know what, what am I looking for in this? Oh, also, yes, try to heal, try to rest. As, oh, like, do not rest unless you absolutely need to rest. Upgrading is very powerful, and I think maybe as a novice, oh, if I would remember my time as a novice, uh, maybe I rested because I wasn't sure. I was scared, oh, and that comes with just information. You rest because you're not sure what you're going to expect. But if you can have a better sense of what you're going to expect, you rest less often. Your deck gets oh, stronger. Thank you, Festive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Festive. You are a maniac, and I love it. What are we looking for right now? Oh, Do you want to get rid of his artifacts? Oh, a lot of hours. Oh, want to get rid of his artifacts. Oh, That's not getting rid of his artifacts. We can set up Pendip. Oh, By setting up Pendip, we are going to uh, maybe get emulate Pendip. Just get the minis out of the way. We want the disarm, we just don't have the artifacts. We wanted to get like a um I guess close on at this point. Oh, sh disarm right now is not good. I I want to disarm oh, without the artifacts, because the disarm is actually very good in this fight. And we have enough artifact healing stuff oh, with the uh, Necronomicon to not waste disarm here. But I do want to say pendant for immolate. I suppose we just kill the main oh, with this. There's another way of looking at this. One world is like, oh, yeah, you could do pen. You could try to kill the minions and get them out of the way, or I could just smork down the boss because this right now is going to be doing 72 damage to the boss, brings him down to 200 and what's it called, 16. And then I can just wait for Immolate to kill the minions. Hmm. I want to remove strikes, but then it makes Perfected Strike worse. But I do want to remove strikes, I think, after I play this Perfected Strike because we want to get Spot Weakness more often, but we also want to find our Sword Ring to dump the strength. See, I don't... Hmm. 72 damage is quite a lot. But I'll probably be better off killing these minions anyways. We have feet in our hands. Emulate is probably going to be taken out of my deck, which in which case is going to be kind of sad. Because that is my AoE. So 
Swap weakness is something I want to be doing, but the problem with swap weakness is... Well, I get swap weakness here. We really want to get the weaken, which we finally got. So that's something. And Pendum's already around the corner. So we don't get the Reaper. Like... I could have gotten the Reaper from the minions. This is still a decent Reaper. It's 24 healing. I could also just go for maximum smorkage. Oh. It's 75 damage. Because the thing is, he's not going to kill me. Evely, thanks for Twitch Prime. Welcome, Evely. No, because he's not going to kill me. Like, okay, worst case scenario, I'm going to have less life going into the next act, but we're not going to kill me, especially if I'm doing 75. I know he's a hyper beam, but he's weakened. If I bring him down to 100 something, around 100, double bash is coming, double bash plus sword boomerang. I mean, double bash plus sword boomerang is already pretty much killing him. No, I don't have to heal with the treasure. I have disarm. I also have weaken. This still heals for eight after the effects. Block number five is minuscule in the grand scheme of things. But we could argue that we're going to get lethal regardless with emulate coming up. So since we have guaranteed lethal enemies we emulate, I might as well block. Oh shit! I could have. Like, I didn't want to greed feed there. Okay. Juggernaut Dark Embrace Demon Form. Interesting. I'm gonna use the bathroom. It's running looking interesting. The uniform seems bad. I mean, we have modified hands. It makes me less relentless about weakness. I'll be right back. Bathroom! El baño! Hey, thank you. K-Y-L? Is that how I say it? K-Y-L? Welcome. Alright, so I think demon form. Oh yeah, Mr. Lem, what you gotta do is you gotta uh, close your iPhone and go on a computer. And then you don't get a delay. So demon form, okay, one thing I could say is that with demon form, and the Reaper in the deck with Necronomicon. We, we also have Gambling Chip to help find game, Reaper, Demon Form right away. So that's a plus. Plus Battle Trance. We can rely on the fact that Reaper twice with Demon Form scaling in the back end is going to be a very strong guaranteed heal. That's very powerful. And Spy Weakness is dodgy at best. And having the Strength Scaling... Uh, all but guaranteed every turn is obviously very nice because then I gotta just worry about surviving the heart until like like by doing damage at the same time. So basically, I wanted to be doing disarm after the debuff clearing phase. Then we're going to be doing reaper maybe after a big hit to heal up all the while doing a lot of damage and hopefully kill him just barely in time before he kills me. So I think Demon Form makes the most sense. Dark Embrace right now doesn't have that much going for it. There's potential for Dark Embrace, but it doesn't have that much going for it. Okay, there's more energy. Seems like a deck that might like Lizard Tail, but I'm not sure. Twitch, yeah, Twitch and iPhones have delays, unfortunately. It's unfortunate. <clears throat> I don't know why. Sneko Eye is interesting for card draw. It makes this less reliable because I want Reaper to be doubled, and with Sneko Eye, I can't really guarantee that. Do you mods? Yeah, we'll do some mods. The thing is, I don't know. I mean, what mods do you want to do? It's like. It's only so much mods I could do. The fifth energy, yeah, the fact that this is plus one strength is pretty bad. The fifth energy doesn't help me that much. I guess the Lizard Tail is going to be the play here. 
Snake White is very nice with the card draw, and we have ways to mitigate that with Mumford Hand. Only one power, though. I think it affects Necronomicon negatively, though. One chance. One chance to roll. Ah, we have multiple chances. Okay, this is the only chance. We, we win this, we delete it. No, we have multiple chances. I'll do Lizard Tail. So I'll use this as a as a buffer or as a another free turn against the heart. Alright? Right now, I actually think we can beat the heart. Reaper. With the, Hopefully, we'll pen him to get right back to full. Tank a lot of other stuff. Disarm's gonna help as well. I just do damage in between. Lizard Tail for maybe that one turn where I couldn't block. Unless it's a multi hit, then it sucks. We gotta get. So this is gonna be a 50% RNG. I'm calling it now. Lizard Tail has to block a big hit. He cannot block the multi hit. And then we're gonna all rejoice when it's the big hit, and then we're gonna win. It's gonna be glorious, or we die now. We die right here in Act 3. Who knows? Okay, anyways. We need the Sapphire, and we're done. Let's do a couple of elites. So Reptomancer is probably okay. Immolate. Probably okay. Just to warm exactly. I was talking wacky relics and event mods. The character's up to you. Okay. Giant head. I think we got some scaling for giant head. We should be fine there as well. Nemesis should be fine as well. Okay. Let's go for it. One, two. One, two, three. Not doing four leads. <clears throat> Voice crack. Four leads with only one campfire seems awkward. Let's go this path. Let's see what happens. It's just attacking for 11 for sure. It's not necessarily a fight where I'm like... I need uniform to get out. Goodbye, Pandib. It's all it's all good. We we can get feet here. We want it. We want to get feet here. So is is it? Oh, not like this. You know how long it's gonna take to get feet again, guys. You know how long it's gonna take. It's gonna take so long. I'm probably gonna take so much damage to get this feet out as well. Too long, I think. Too long. I, mean, I guess we can kill one of them and make it less painful, right? <sighs> 13 damage. Already not worth. It'll be worth. Uh, it'll be worth. Maybe I just go for 15 instead. I'm already this far in. I'm already this far in. Feet is just a little bit away. It's also just a 15 heal. Yo, Lambam2, thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the uh, Twitch Prime, man. Welcome to the pool. So, Uppercut is very good. Let me explain. With Necronomicon, this it gets two rid of two artifacts, which can all but guarantee I have a weaken on the heart, or it can set up for the disarm. So when I need disarm, this got my back. Also for the Act for Elite, similar purpose. Thing is, I already have so many two costs things like Bash and Clothesline that kind of do similar purposes. That I'd rather just get the max HP. But yeah, having another thing that can get a weaken or get rid of artifacts seems quite nice. But I wonder with Necronomicon, we just like cards like this. It's 26 damage, too weak, too vulnerable. Without the upgrade. I 
I wonder, I wonder. I wonder if we just like cards like this. It's also more guaranteed weaken. Against the awakened one. Max HP. A lantern. Do a wield. What is do a wield for? Do a wield reaper. In a perfect world, we do a wield reaper. And that is so good against the heart. So imagine this big fat reaper that saves my booty with Necronomicon against the heart. And then imagine I can do that at least two more times. It's unreliable to make that happen, but in a perfect world, that would be nice to get it on Reaper. Gets rid of four artifacts, yes. It gets rid of four artifacts with Necro. Uncarpacai is very good for that for that reason, but he only gets two artifacts, and Bash or Clothesline could do the same thing by itself. I guess the plus side of Uppercut gets rid of two artifacts, and then it applies weak and invulnerable. It might just be really good to take Uppercut. I think I should take it. If I see it again, hopefully I can see it again. I'm thinking about removing a strike. Maybe now we remove perfected strike. Yeah, I beat the heart before. I beat the heart of, uh, I think, like 20... Probably like 28... something. Not as much as I would like, but, you know. Hey, we're, racking, we're, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, the mods are fun. The mods are fun. There's some good mods out there. Hmm. Hmm. We're not doing... We're not doing... I think dual wheel is not going to be a thing. I mean, dual wheel could also be sword of ring twice to make sure we get more damage off that. I think dual wheel is too awkward. Alright. I actually maybe just don't do anything. We save for gold. Lantern's not that great. Lantern means I can probably get Demon Form out on the first one more reliably. The Guardian was written. Yeah, so the guy, Michael Mayhem, makes some good months. I skip here. We should remove, though. Just because... Yeah, we're gonna get Perfect Strike to become weaker. Let's do this. If I'm wait, if I'm removing the strike, perfect strike, I might if I'm removing the strike, I might as well remove perfect strike, right? No, the fact that this gets that is pretty decent value. Get Reaper right away. That becomes much better later on in the fight. This is a very good way to get healing. But I'm at full life. I guess I'll do Art of War here. Alright, I'm trying to... Oh, we can actually feed here. We can feed here. If It's, it's either Feed or Reaper. Either way, we're, we're totally gonna wait. Right? Yeah, we're waiting, we're waiting. Oof. Oof. If I iron wave first, it's a full heal. Or right, close to it. That's a full heal, my bad. I like shockwave. Shockwave is interesting. You could say that with Bash and Clothesline, maybe I don't need Shockwave. But I think anything that can kind of guarantee I get weak and vulnerable on some of these priority targets is pretty good. I think I like it. Oh, that's only because of this. Uh, I can take that off. But basically, so I can play cards with my fingers. As opposed to my mouse, hands, whatever. But also, I like to have numbers because it helps me know how many cards are in my hands. I can do some some draw math easier. <clears throat> I 
I think I think Trap Creeper's just fine. You can set up for bigger Reapers as well. For AoE. I think Trap Creeper's just fine. Omamori. Massive shop. Dolly's Mirror. Dolly's Mirror for Reaper seems like the best play. Another thing to consider is Disarm, right? Because we're fighting the Awakened One. Or Time Eater. So we wake one for sure. Time Eater's potential. Plus two Disarms on the Heart. After his uh, B-Buff phase or whatever. Does do a lot of work. On the other hand, Second Reaper means Necronomicon. That's just another way to do damage and also heal for a lot. It's tough. It's tough, tough, tough. I'm not sure here. Disarm number two also means, or what it means is that when I need to disarm him, I, I more likely have one available. But how much is disarm going to provide, me, provide for me versus Reaper? If I can even form out early, Reaper is going to be massive. I'm talking like upwards of 30 plus block. And I don't think Disarm's going to save me 30 plus life. I mean, it could. It's 15. He does times 15 attack, so it very well could. The second Reaper with Necronomicon just, just gets so much value. Especially with Pendabit involved. Damn. Such a tough choice, guys. I wish I didn't have to make these choices. I wish it was just so easy. Mechanicon kind of I think maybe edges out because of that. But what if when I want to disarm, I don't have it? I'd rather disarm than Reaper. Act 4 Elite? Act 4 Elite means Reaper's, I, I, Reaper's pretty good in that fight as well. Disarm is also good for the... Spear, you're not wrong, but on the on the on on the same token, doing Reaper again in the Act Four Elite could heal for upwards of thirty as well, and do damage. Hmm. I, I wasn't sure. You save gold or we can take sundial sundial uh, i don't think so save gold i want to move another strike but for 100 gold i don't know if it's worth well, we could save our gold here the reaper is also another aoe for reptile answer i didn't really mention that and the disarm is not very good for giant head but it's good for nemesis it's okay. Yeah, at this point we're trying to... We're trying to do the heart. Like, think about the heart exclusively. Am I doing four elites? I was thinking about just going to this campfire and then doing these elites. Did I skip? No, I didn't skip the chest. Okay. It was safe. Oh, actually, not getting frail is pretty good, isn't it? This deck doesn't really care about blocking that much. So a lot of it's going to be damage and healing. We have like no block, actually. Okay. Shockwave is very good. And we do like Shockwave Cleave. Disarm. Yeah, Kenny, I've been wearing them the whole time, man. Kenny, I've been wearing them the whole damn time. You just missed them. Every single day. Should I go for Reaper heal or just go for the feed? So feed is... Sometimes this 
Girl does attack twice. Sometimes she does attack twice. There's a decent chance I get feed. I actually like this. Well, the... What? It still triggers it? If she's attacking, she's gonna she's gonna kill herself here. Yeah, it's safer, but I I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind this. If she's attacking. She's killing herself here. Perfect. Now I get feed. It's perfect. This is terrible. Like, I really, 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 really wanted something much better than this. But whatever, we'll take it. Skippy, skippy, skippy. Rage is interesting, because Rage could be like, against the heart. I have, like, no block. So I'm thinking Rage is 5 block per thing I play, per attack I play. And if we, if we want to go offensive, which is dump our strength against the heart, I can imagine a Rage would help me do that a little bit less carelessly. There's also two max HP. I'd have to draw into it. Yeah, buddy? Mm, I don't know if I like rage that much. Mm. I think Stereopod is better than this blood pot. Even though we have a lot of max HP. I'm going for another uh, elite. We did the Reptomancer. Next is going to be... Nemesis or Giant Head. Ne Giant Head is a little scary, isn't it? We're going for it. Hello, buddy. I wanted to get this arm out of the deck. I don't want this in my deck at all. It's one of the worst cards. I think this is the one of the turns where I just want to get it out of the deck. So that when I draw into stuff, it's attack-based stuff that dumps my strength and not disarm. We're never feeding on this, guy, so I'm going to get feed out of the deck as well. So Reaper, I don't... A Reaper could be nice if I take some damage and then later on in the fight I can use it to heal back up. It might be worth it to save Reaper here, just because... Like right now, I guess it's doing 16. It's healing me to full, it's doing 16 damage, plus I can do all this damage right here. Next one's gonna be a big hit for me, potentially. No problem. Mr. Advocat. I ended up mirroring this arm. I just want the strike out of the deck. Double bash seems nice. All this out of the deck as well. But let's go for damage. Alright, getting down to the wire here. This is when it gets kind of scary. We have Pendip though. So we have Pendip. Pendip saves the day easily. Easy Pendip. This is where I take damage. But maybe Attack Potion saves me. Damn, if only it kept its cost there. We should be fine. Full life. I mean, I guess I could have taken that hit, right? So I don't want another shock whip. I don't want another perfected strike. I thought this was. I think. I think this arm, in the context of the fact that I had no block and going against the heart, I think this arm. Like I want to make sure I get this arm. On the heart after he does the deep phase, so I thought the second one was going to be better. But yeah, I think Necronomicon and Pendant Reaper is very up there as well. Take care, Lunar Knight. 
Perfect strike is still so well. I mean, nah, we're gonna get max HP here. It's a giant head. Damn it. The dreaded. We should be fine. He's attacking, nice. I'm gonna hold on to Reaper here. Hey, what's up, Viverante? Now we're gonna doing damage. I say pendant for Reaper, right? And getting Reaper here would be fine anyways. That's really decent damage. Don't need any of that stuff. Bucket watch is very awkward, doesn't really fit the deck at all. Heavy blade dumps my strength. I think with the fact that we have Necronomicon, Heavy Blade might be a good pickup. One second, let me put my doggy. I think Heavy Blade might be a good pickup. I don't think we're struggling with damage, but that's a great way to dish out the damage with Spot Weakness Demon Form and Necronomicon. It's pretty damn good. One sec. It's all big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. It plays really good. Goodbye. Tanga maestra. Hasta luego. Voy a practicar. Uh, más tarde. This is going to be very good, right? Potentially to get the damage on the heart boss. I think we're getting damage in other ways, though. We have bronze skills and we have strength for everything else. Don't think this is necessary, but. The smirk potential. Steroid key. Sapphire key, rather. Alright, more elites. Reaper. This fight is awkward. This thorny boy is awkward, isn't he? I also want to kill that dude. So if I do shockwave, then close on close line and disarm. Pretty good. To get rid of the multi-hit of this guy. Also, potentially... Then I'm not killing that guy. Okay, so I could kill that guy. Then this guy exists. 21, 19. Oh. Let's try to get feet on this guy. This guy's gonna be awkward, isn't he? Damn it. Hmm. He's attacking. With Reaper, I could heal back up. With Reaper, I could heal back up. This Reaper's probably better than the feet here.
So the problem with this... Take 30. So we're ultimately only healing for... It's net positive, but we can make it better. If I do True Grit Defend, we can make this... It could be better, can't it? Maybe a little bit better. Bum, bum, bum. Should we get nine? And then we're healing for twelve, taking seventeen back. Could be better. <laughs> I think now is a go time. The problem is the second hit. The problem is the second hit, isn't it? We could just feed. Feeding might just be better here, I think. Ooh, these are good. We had no blocks, so both of these are very good. True Grit manages the burns and the statuses from the heart, which is going to be a wound. A wound, a void, and a burn. So a second True Grit is good for that reason. It also thins out the deck to get into these nitty gritty. Strength dumping cards. Corruption is very. I think it's. I think it's triggered here, as opposed to shrug it off. Yes. Emulate right away. I like the shockwave to get the shockwave out of the way, but I also want to do double disarm. I know, I know, I know. It's too... I don't know if he's attacking or not. Try to get Reaper here. Reaper, please? We get Pendant Reaper. I don't know if she's attacking or not. Nice. We could get feed here. I could get feed here. This is going to kill, unfortunately. Try getting feed. No. Okay, this is... 23, 39. Easy. Max speed makes a difference, though. It really does. Some gashing, we're good to go. Broken 200. I have broken 200 health before, yes. This is not the run, though. Evolve. Okay, evolve. It's too slow, too clunky. I mean, my fine hand, this is not the end of the world. It will manage. If I'm lucky, a status or two against the heart, or make emulate a little less bad. I don't know if I'm gonna get it before the what's it called. I, I, I guess it's okay for Dono and Deca potentially. I can take an evolve. Well, I think the run the run's pretty much all but done, isn't it? Ooh, it's too good to not do this just right away. I'm gonna see maybe we can get them. That's just too good. E 
either Reaper or, or, or just feed. So, it's attacking for a decent amount, but I think this is worth Reaper or feed again. It all makes a difference, especially when you don't have that much block. God damn it. I want him to not attack again so I can feed. Come on, dude. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. This is awkward. This is awkward. Okay. It's better to just do bash twice anyways, right? Meh. Because I want to ultimately just kill him and not have to do this whole shebang nonsense. It's better to just do bash. Could block for 10. I guess Heavy Blade's going to kill him. This fight's awkward. Heavy Blade kills him. How much is this doing? A lot. I'm gonna skip. Take care, Vivian 3. Art of War? Maybe you're missing Art of War there? Giant head again. <laughs> he, sometimes he attacks first turn. Let's find out. I want to do weaken, but I think the bash is better. You guys are freaking out about it. Alright, so we got Penip on the Reaper. We say Penip for Sword Boomerang as well. We've got a lot of answers here. 72, a big heal. I think I'm going for damage. Heavy Blade is going to win as well. Ooh, we get feed. 29. Is this going to kill him if I do strike? Cleave. It's not going to kill him. Oh, there you go, buddy. Okay, double Reaper. Oh, shit. Okay, the deck's done. All right, all right. Deck's done. Deck's done. Deck is done. I have enough light that I don't need to... I don't need to worry about... I don't need to worry about what's it called. Resting. I think we're totally fine. Alright, so what do we upgrade? Heavy Blade? Heavy Blade is going to be much better with an upgrade. Much better with an upgrade, Heavy Blade. This Demon Form also needs to be upgraded. Demon Form Scaling. 
Damn, I think the demon form is also a consideration. So I'll weakness make demon form not as necessary. I think demon form. The Deca is donor? Wait, hey, what? No, it's a weaker one. Spot weakness, demon form, disarm, pocket watch. Pocket watch, baby. So that is a big heal. Okay, so I can do Reaper Reaper and then finish off with Emulate to kill them all. Right? The Reaper Reaper... Okay, it could be much better. I do Emulate, Emulate, I kill the Cultist, I don't get the heal. That's the problem. But the Reaper Reaper... 22 damage. I... I could kill the... One cultist at least. I killed both of the cultists actually. The thing is, the emulate kills both of them. And the reaper is healing for 22, but only on this. Well, this is 22 for from everything. It's just a full heal. It's just too good. It's too good. I'm gonna get this arm again. I don't mind doing attack. Although, let's get Art of War pocket watch then. Sure. I don't think he's doing that much damage. Let's get pocket watch. Hey, buddy. So we can get more strength. Go for the kill now, too. I suppose I can go for the kill now. I can go for another heal. I don't have the kill. What am I saying? I think I might as well go for another heal, actually. Let's go straight into the second phase. I want to stack up Pandem a little bit more. We might get feed, actually, depending on what we draw. So I could get Pendib on this, which is going to be lethal, isn't it? So if I do, let's say, Strike, Strike, Spot Weakness, Strike, Strike, Sword Boomerang. Or let's say I do Strike, Strike, Sword Boomerang. Because right now this is doing 64 times 4. 256, 256. I'm trying to see if I, I can get feet. I can actually get feet here. 256 plus... Plus 73. 256 plus 73 is too much. Damn. My buddy's crying. I gotta take him out. 70. I do too much damage. 70 plus 256 is too much damage. Too much power. There's no way I can get it, huh? There's no way I can do it. Okay, well, no feed then. It's all good. Keeping pendant for act. Nah. Alright, I gotta take my dog out. Like, he, my dog has to go outside at the worst time. I'm letting him outside.
I could have done vulnerable and get the, the feed. Yeah, I know, I know. But... All right, a lot of gold. Wow, almost too much gold, huh? What do I want to do here? I want to get the disarms. I want to get demon form out. I don't care about evolve as much, right? But I want evolve out of the deck in the least. So if you want the disarms, if you want to get demon form out, and I guess the evolve would be okay, just to get out of the deck. Not attacking. Do you want to get rid of a strike? Look for disarms here. Or a weaken. Uh, I think we should try to do as much damage as possible because. No, we have a lot of life to spare. We have Reaper to heal back up. And we've got disarms, so. We will, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Sucks I didn't get a weaken or anything like that. I could heal for. I could block for a decent amount. Like Rage, Bash, Sorbo Meringue, Strike. I get 15 block. I don't. Doesn't feel worth it. Doesn't feel worth it. And I can just keep myself turn counter up and get bigger reapers in the future. I have the disarm. I got the weaken. Got both disarms. Oh wait, reaper, reaper gets the juice here. We have time. Three damage. We can re up on the uh, weaken. We can do one Reaper to heal up a little bit. It's decent. 30 heal. I can get more out of that. Re up on the weaken. In the event that he's attacking. Hmm. Let's see if he's attacking. He is. So this is quite a bit of damage. I can butter him up a little bit. I can also do some healing now. He's attacking me for a little bit. So if I do this, I get some healing now. It's better than nothing. Or I can butter him up, get closer to lethal. Yeah, I kind of want, kind of want the. Hmm. I want pocket watch, but I also want anything out the deck. I want to see what. Ah, one thing I also want to do is get pendant for acts for elite. The damage is pretty good. I think ideally I want to smirk this guy down. So what I want to do, I think ideally, is going to be kill him with Heavy Blade and make this Pendabetic around 8 or 9 for the next Elite. Yo, take care, Mr. Lem. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I need to upgrade a heavy blade. See, I was gonna rest before, on the next. I was gonna rest. So there's also merit. Like if I were to get Reaper in this fight, I don't have to rest in Act Four, and I can just upgrade heavy blade. I may not rest anyways. It might be better to do 
a full heal as opposed to like oh we could get feed well shit we could get feed maybe feed is the play okay the thing is I could get reaper twice and just heal full so the the reaper means I can upgrade the feed means I have four more axe HP go for reaper okay but I want to kill him now because otherwise he's going to heal up a lot He's healing right now. Problem with Battle Trance is that Reaper doesn't get played twice. Doesn't get played twice though. I'm pretty sure it doesn't Necronom doesn't do Necronomicon. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do Necronomicon, right? It's the same thing like double tap or whatever? Or is this the exception? Eh. I want to say it's good. I think it's going to waste a pen nib. It's going to waste a pen nib, so I don't think it's good. Next one, I have it coming up. Yes. It doesn't waste a pen nib. Okay, that's good. Hey, Reaper again. It's gonna hit me for a big chunk, though. It's better than nothing. Could probably even get feed anyways. Get feed anyways, huh? That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna rest for five HP. Are you kidding me? I want I want to get the heavy blade upgrade. That turns consideration as well. Very rich right now. Barricade dead branch. What? What? We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I like the Gremlin Horde. Okay, Barricade Dead Branch. What is Dead Branch doing here? Dead Branch is just kind of meme -y, but I mean, it's, it gives me like incidental value here and there. I mean, there's a chance we... <laughs> we could buy Dead Branch, right? It's probably fine. You really like the perfect strike, don't you? Barricade is probably not gonna get that much value because I don't make that much block. So it's kind of a meme. Might be, might be just do Gremlin Horn and Dead Branch. This is only for the Act Four Elite. Might be better to go for Draw Pot actually, as opposed to Fear Pot. Although Fear Pot could also help a lot. Either to get rid of a de uh, an artifact for the heart or kill the Act 4 Elite. Instant Survive might be exactly what I meet need. Yeah, the thing is I have Lizard Tail as well. Plus we have all these two Reapers in the deck. We've got Disarms. I mean, we have a lot of answers. The, the Health, the Disarms, the Reapers, the, the Lizard Tail. I don't think it's ever messing me up. I mean, yes, it might bloat the deck, but it could bloat the deck. Because of the void that we're going to be getting, the curse from here, true grit becomes. We have two true grit, so it makes a little bit true grit a little bit more awkward. And bloating the deck is bad because we want to be able to um, find reapers, but also play heavy blades or find disarm on time. I feel like Dead Branch might just bloat it and not be beneficial. Yeah, the entrench could do a lot. I think it's just trying to do too much. It's trying to add a, a, like a whole, it's trying to add this whole tool to block that's not really going to be utilized that well. Now for me, I think it's removal. 
removal. I'm thinking removal, maybe a draw pot instead of steroid. Steroid could be useful, but maybe draw pot is better than steroid pot. And then Grumman Horn just to have that. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not guaranteed to be worthless, but yeah, sucks that this is not that the greater shot. Secret weapon's not bad. Secret weapon's actually very nice. Heavy blade for, you know, lethal with Pendib or for Reaper. Heavy blade, secret weapon's actually very good, I think. I'm, I'm with that. I'm with secret weapon here. I like that. I'm, like, I'm with the secret weapon here. I think drop out just for the turn, turn two of the, um, of the elite. Unless I do pocket watch. It's definitely just super good anyways, I should just buy it. I mean it's such a it's such a good relic. But honestly I have all the tools I need. I just want to make sure I can draw into these tools at the appropriate time. Whether it be the Reaper or the Disarm or whatever. Or the, the debuffs. I, I I really don't want the the bloat. Alright, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and remove a strike. Well, I think for sure we're gonna need a secret weapon. I'm gonna remove a strike here. I'm gonna buy the Gremlin Horn just for the elite. Seems silly. I don't think Bear Gates can do enough for me. I don't think Bear Gates can do enough for me. I mean, it might give me a little bit of extra block here and there, which could help me play cards without get taking damage. Not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Call it a dead branch run? No, no, no. And anything YouTube needs to see non dead branch runs. It's between steroid or swift pot. Swift pot means I can get this arm potentially when I need it, or the demon form out when I need it. I, think I like the swift pot better than steroid. Steroid helps with the sort of ring and the doubling of Necronomica makes it kind of nice to have steroid pot. Tough choice, man. I like Evolve. Makes the next turn not too bad. Secret Weapon. Uh, this is kind of awkward because I wanted to really Evolve. I, I kind of like the trigger here. Secret Weapon is going to... Play like clothesline to weaken the guy and that's it. Or like emulate to butter them up. So we're not killing that guy. If we did steroid, we could do secret weapon, heavy blade, maybe kill spire shield. Eh. Alright, so if we do secret weapon, we could do clothesline to get rid of the artifacts. We could do emulate to attack them both. Can't get rid of it. No, no, no. I no, can't get rid of it. So, I'm saying trigger for the heal. I mean, not for the block, but okay. I don't think we care about the block. To get out, to get it out of this healthy would be nice. I think if we just kill one of these, we, we can. The one v one, we're totally fine with the disarm. The weaken and the fact that we have reaper. I think we do emulate twice. Secret upgrade is that it doesn't. Doesn't exhaust. There's also merit in doing this. Human is... The guy's thinking 99 block next turn. Maybe it's better to do double weaken, isn't it? On this guy. Just to mitigate damage. Just to mitigate damage. Because a part of me was thinking we were going to go smork out the guy on the left with emulate because that does 42 damage to everybody. So when the, when the shield wears off, we can kill this guy pretty easily. I want to do this instead. 
Yeah, it's a little bit topsy side. We're taking damage here. Okay. So now this is where the fun begins. Because we got Reaper, we got Heavy Blade. This is where the fun begins. I need to know one of them who's attacking. Now I'm pretty sure the spear is not attacking. I th they might not both not be attacking. It's important that I hit this probably because, because the Heavy Blade twice... I think becomes lethal with the Pendib in mind. We also have Pendib Reaper. I'm pretty sure the guy on the left is attacking. Okay. I don't think this guy's attacking again, but he might be. But this is lethal. Get him out of the way. Easy clap. I think that's just... Because then we can do disarm again. Or... Okay, that's 30 damage. So it's 30 heal. Plus 44. I think I'd rather just kill this. I don't think he's attacking, but okay, if he is, let's do that. Get one Reaper out right now. Oh, he was. I'm trying to get Reaper again. That's my goal. That's my goal here. Or feed. Uh, if I try to Reaper again, I think I should just leave him a little bit healthier. Unfortunate. But he's disarmed so much that it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna go ahead and try to get Reaper. Get pocket watch. I, I could do. Yeah. Not a big deal. Want Reaper so bad? I'm curious, if I'm curious to know if he's attacking. He is. This might be a big hit from him, actually. But the Reaper's gonna be pretty juicy. Oh, nothing. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Disarm twice. Was, that was useless. I want to get the bash. I think more important than the bash, we want to get demon form, right? Above anything else, we want to get demon form out right now. Above anything else. Maybe even the weaken. So, as much as Bash can be played twice, is not even a priority. This is something. This could be a turn where we do draw putt just to get the Demon Form out, right? Could be a turn. I think it's that important. I think it's that important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got the weaken. We can for the rest of his life here. I want to get this out of the deck, though. If I do close on, I can weaken him for the rest of his life, pretty much. Might be worth it. But I don't get pocket watch, so that I don't think it's worth it. The pocket watch is too important. Give her some of these uh, strikes. Although strikes should be very valuable to dump my strength. More so than defense, I feel like. But at the same time, we need something to be block the beat. So this, this is going to be painful. All of this. 
This is all going to be painful. It's going to take a lot of damage, right? But it's going to be mitigated by the fact that we're going to get Reapers. The disarm's coming. I mean, the uh, demon for coming late hurts. Yeah, this all sucks. Real bad. There is some merit to like doing damage. <sighs> At least I'm happy it wasn't the last card of my deck. I didn't get Art of War there. I think here, that damage is kind of nice. Is that gonna make a breaker for me? No. Cause we wanna get we wanna get both of the charms now. That's fine. I'm not getting Art of War sucks though, cause now with the void it's even worse. Yeah, the void's even worse. Okay. No, you don't disarm now. Because you disarm after this turn. Otherwise, he takes the negative strength, he makes it positive. He removes the disarm, he actually takes the negative strength that he had gotten and makes it a, a boon for him. So you don't want to disarm until after this phase. It's intentional. Reaper now is... If I do the vulnerable, I can get some healing back. But we can get more out of that, right? But I don't know if I... I think I don't have the luxury actually I think I have to do Reaper now at least one of them yeah I mentioned it so many times he always gets regular negative negative strength I don't have the luxury to not play Reaper now right because I'm not guaranteed to get weaken and I'm not going to get disarm it's actually kind of bad that we don't have the weaken and we don't have disarm it's scary I should buy some time. So we got the disarm. And we got the weakened with secret weapon. We can't play all of them. We got the disarm. Can't do the weaken as well. Unfortunately. Now, this is Zabrakat is a different story. Okay, I think we just do get rid of the artifacts, disarm, get pocket watch. That's just the, that's, the, that's, that's the name of the game there. And we're gonna have to do pocket watch for the weekend and the disarm again. And of course, it's getting dicey. But this should be an okay turn. One thing I don't like is that the weekend. It wastes pendant, whereas this is the pendant quota for the fight. For this turn at least. We have Reaper coming up. We can get Pendant and Reaper. I might I might forego the weak just so I can get the pendant on the Reaper. But this is a weekend for the rest of the fight, which is very nice. That's going to save me a lot of life in the long run. Panda Reaper brings me right back to full. But we also have Lizard Tail. Now, the question is, do we do Reaper next turn, or do we wait? Yeah, but I think I, I don't want to take these incidental hits anymore, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the weekend just for the rest of the fight. And now I don't take any damage at all. We waste pendant, but whatever. Alright, we'll start to scale up. So now we just got to do 200 damage pretty reliably. This seems worth it. It's not quite enough. It's not quite enough to 
block his big attack. His big attack is pretty mm, scary. But it's something. I'm trying to do consistent damage. That's why I'm doing this. I lose pocket watch by doing this. I think... Since we're going to have to kill him in three turns anyways, we just pass. Do damage next turn. Lizard Tail is there. Damage again the following turn. We should be we should be fine. Should be fine. So we do damage now. And then take whatever whatever happens. And then next turn we go for kill. And if I don't kill him next turn, we have Lizard Tail. And we have yeah, we should be fine. I'm hoping this is the multi-hit turn. So that if I were to die, I die from a big hit, unless you took his proc then. But I think we win. That's just the damage quarter for the, the for this turn. Yeah, I think we win. Well, next turn I have to do with double bash, I think we should be fine. I'm, it might be worth it. Might be worth it to defend, defend, right? Well, there's no way he's gonna do. Like the multi hit's not hurting me that much, right? Ideally, this is multi hit. Ideally. What's the worst draw I can get? If I if I don't get pocket watch, what's the worst draw I could get? True good, true good, defend, defend, iron wave. It's the worst draw I could get. What even that's I suppose fine because lizard tail and then we just gotta survive that turn and then we win next turn. So I think we just full block here. But this is very minuscule block as it is because minus three. So if I I there's no way I'm dying the multi hit turn, right? I think we just win here, actually. Bash, bash. So, let me do the math. Boom. 48. 48 plus... Sorry. 80. 80 plus... 64? It's not enough. It's not lethal. We have Lizard Tail. So, he has, he's weakened and he has 2 strength. And I think it's base 2 times 15. I can also kill him next turn, so that's not a problem. Like, for instance... I just want to know if he's doing 60 damage right now, or if he's doing more like around 45. If it's 45, we're fine. Sixty-four. So then, he, he, the thorns is only going to be how much? Eighteen. He's going to be eighteen away. 18 away. Six hits. It's me six hits there. Forty. How much is this? Isn't it better to do that sixty-four forty? Isn't feed much closer here? Easy. Jesus. I could have made it look so much cooler. Like, I was here thinking, Jesus Christ. I could have made it look so much cooler. Like, oh, man. Easy. We feed on the heart. Like, we just go back. Pretend like I didn't have to pick a math. Just like a nice, smooth feed on the heart. No big deal. No, it's cool, run though. 
Wish it didn't take me so long to figure that one out. Alright. Once again, Feed wins the run, I would say. Feed. It's definitely a contributor for sure. Mm, not bad. That's pretty good max HP, yeah. We don't have to delete, we don't have to delete the channel. I put the channel on the line. We didn't we didn't lose. Now we go back to memeing. Channel's still alive, guys. Just go meme, everybody.